Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we are back for another brand new video. Before we get in and start discussing this delicious little clickbaity tale, I just want to address that I, yes I am wearing a northern shirt. No, there isn't any other context to that. So as you can tell by that tale, we're going to be addressing something we spoke about in early June slash July where we spoke about five players that should have left the club or should be sold. We've done that, it was pretty successful. I think every one of them bar Andy Halliday was sold. So, you know, these lists have weight. People listen to us. They don't, they really don't. That's, that's a joke. Son, we do here on the channel. There has actually been a lot of requests for this video. If you go back to even the early June when we started signing all these new players, you look at that podcast with me, Baz and Paul discussing the floor of the cup. All it was is make another list, make another list. And I, and I was going to make it. I said I would do it during that podcast I spoke about. I said I'll do it when the transfer window closes. Since the transfer window has closed, everyone keeps saying, where's the list? Where's the list? I've just never been motivated to do it because I feel like that would be towards the end of the season. We don't know how any of these players are going to play. But... With the sad passing of Nico Cranshaw in the last couple of days where his contract was terminated. In fact, play a wee bit of sad music. And let's have a wee, let's bow our heads. And think of that one game against Mullerwell where Nico Cranshaw played semi to good. So like I said, with Nico Cranshaw out the door, it's time to look at five others that should be. So let's stop messing about, let's stop the monologue. Rocky's fell asleep listening to it, and let's get to the video. Now obviously it is going to be a list type to find five down to one, but this isn't really who really needs to go. It's just a list of five players. So let's start off with number five. And it's someone that I've continued to say deserves another chance, deserves another... We need to stick with him. I make videos about him all the time. I really like the laddie. I hope he has a successful and great future. But when you retweet Celtic shit on Twitter, mate, and then you didn't address it, you didn't apologise, you didn't say you were hacked, you just delete it, you're out the door. So if you don't know who that is, that's going to be Jordan Rosser. I know he's not played for about a year and a half maybe, like consistently. I think he played six games when he first came here and that's been about it. And um, there's been a couple of wee games where obviously at the Nedicon game when me and Ryan was there vlogging it, he came on for about 15 minutes and he's just been coming back, he's away, coming back. But like I said, the final nail in the coffin for me personally, I didn't mind as people quote it, wasting the wages. I don't think we are necessarily wasting wages, I think he's got a tremendous upside and he would be worth waiting for. But nah, we well, see when you do that shit mate and you didn't apologise, you didn't say you were hacked, you didn't make up any lies, you just retweet it and then when you start getting flat, you delete it. That's... That's, that's a bitch move, in my opinion. And as much as I'm mentioning and joking about the tweet, obviously, the retweet, um, if you actually look at our midfield core, I think we've got enough now strength and depth. I don't really see the point of having another centre mid, especially when it's quite as injury prone. We got rid of one injury prone player and Nico Crancher. It's maybe time, I think personally, to move on now from Jordan Ross. So that's going to be number five. Let's move on to number four. I'm quite sad about doing this, so play the sad music again, please. Big sexy, give me a two sweet. It's time to go, I think. Uh, he's never going to be playing now. If you look at our strength and depth, you look who we're linked with. Ollie McBurney's probably going to be coming in the summer. I think, personally, we've obviously got um, Alfredo Morelos, who's our number one striker, who I actually believe is going to be sold in the summer, but that, that's here or there. Jason Cummins in that just now. I also believe that Jason Cummins is going to be signing permanently as well, so, yeah. And Jamie Murphy can play there. But a lot of strikers just now at the club. And I just don't see a place for Big Sexy. I love him. I think he wasn't given a fair enough shot. I think if you look at him, he's never going to be a dramatic goal scorer. What he was brought in for was being a target man. I don't think he was given enough an opportunity. But that said, we spent a lot of money on him. He's got a decent hefty wage. And I think it's time to move on. So Big Sexy, this is for you. The last two sweet, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Two sweet. Number three, as we continue to clear the decks and move on to the future, I'm going to just address this one just now, and I know I always got a bit of flack, and that video where I said he was going to flop this season, got put up on Facebook, I got slaughtered, saying, Kenny Mullerwell only flop, Kenny, he did flop, and I'm actually going to put him on another list, but I feel like it's time to move on from Kenny Miller, I absolutely love the King, King Kenny to me is an absolute bona fide Hall of Famer, as they'd say in the wrestling terms. And I think he is going to be definitely in the Rangers Hall of Fame, certainly deserves it. At his age, I feel like it's time to move on. That game where we were getting beat off Kilmarnock and we subbed on Kenny Miller to try and save it, I just thought, it's no fate to his legacy, it's no fate to us anymore. We need to move on, we need to think about some faster, younger players that can make an impact. So King Kenny, I'm fortunate to see you're on another list of mine, you just made the list. So with all that being said, King Kenny, it is a wee bow to you and good luck in your future endeavours, whether that's coaching, continuing on your player career, or as I always joke, that you're going to back as Rangers manager but I'm going to stop doing that now because I'm getting scared it might happen. So yeah, King Kenny is number three on the list. Moving on to number two, now we're getting a bit frisky. 
There is a couple of people. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of comments. I can just imagine about Del Ciro. He's on loan. We're not going to be talking about any of the loan players. Big Bruno Alves could potentially be there. We don't know. But because I'm 99.9.6.3.2.1% sure that Bruno's not going to be here next summer anyway, I'm not actually going to put him on the list. Uh, for me personally, if he had signed a two, three year deal and he was looking like he was going to be here next season, he would definitely be on my list because I think it's time bow down. We should have just kept Clint Hill. But Bruno Alves, one year deal, he's going to be moving on. I think that's pretty certain. So yeah, he's not going to be on my list. Who is though, is another Portuguese centre back who I had high, high, high hopes for and he's flopped so badly. It's Cardozo. Um, some of his stuff that he's been doing on the park, it just doesn't make sense to me. I can, the most recent blatant mistake is obviously the Celtic game where he just gave Dembele all the space in the world to just run through. The worst closing down I've ever seen in my history, in the history of the world of defending. And even, and if you even want to go even further, look at next again week against the Kilmarnock, he would, uh, Marty would rather play an injured, barely fit Russell Martin than a fully fit Cardozo. That says it all. I think if we can get any chunky change, I know he's been linked with a lot to the Serie A, um, Serie A, or what, what do they call it these days? Kill COA? Some pish like that on FIFA? Whatever. The Serie A, everyone knows what that is. He's been linked there. If we can get a wee bit of chunky change from that, would be pretty good to me. I think there's other defenders we can certainly go after in the summer who's more fitted to the Scottish game. Cardozo is on the list. As we reach number one, what I want to do now before we actually go and do it is I want everyone to guess who my number one player that needs to be sold in the summer. If you go back and look at when I've done this in June, it was... Everyone that's watching, do you think it's going to be... Or do you think it's going to be someone else? I'll give you five seconds to write down who's going to be my number one pick. Five, four, three, two, unos, dos. Is that not two? So that should be enough time now. Let's give you my number one who should be out of the door. And that is going to be none other than the worst left and right back combat. I never thought I'd see someone as bad at right back as he is at left back. And that is going to be the international Lee Mother effing Hodson. Uh, what can you say about Hodson? He had glimpses and glimpses of showing real promise in the Rangers. I just, I think we've just moved on now too quickly for him. He's just not adjusted. Whenever he's played, he's usually a liability. I'm not going to harp on the guy too much because obviously he's done his job. You never hear about him complaining. You never hear him about moaning and training. He doesn't play. He doesn't complain. He knows his sort of place here. And I think he definitely should be getting a look on. For not only for Rangers to benefit Rangers, but to benefit Lee Hodson as well. So I'm not going to dig into the guy. Like I said, he seems like a nice enough guy. He's an international. Good luck to Lee Hodson. He's going to be my number one player to be sold in the summer. It needs to happen. And we need good cover for right and left back. Because if Tav gets injured, that terrifies me. Alright, because I don't know who we're playing there. Think about it. Who's playing it right back? Does anyone notice this? Then you dare say Russell Martin or Ryan Jack. Alright, they are both injured. So that's going to be the video all done and dusty. Now you might be thinking, CJ, you said the career mode was going to be the day, you absolute fraud. Yes, I did. But then I realised it was Saturday yesterday, no Sunday. With that being said, if you've been watching the channel a long time, you notice I never upload on a Monday because obviously I go out. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to have the career mode ready for Monday so that way you get a consistency on the channel and you know every single day what the career mode is going to be back. So yeah, be excited for that one. I think it, I think you're going to really enjoy it. I'm going to add a wee couple of different things and mix it up a little bit so you definitely should enjoy it. The first episode drops tomorrow so I greatly appreciate any support. It's not going to be for everyone. Uh, if you're maybe not into the game or anything like that, that's completely fine but there is people that continually ask so I'm trying to bring the channel, make it for everyone. So I want to try and supply people with content that they can like and they can come, relax, have a bit of fun on. And that's what I'm going to try and do. So Monday morning, Monday afternoon, about 5 or 6 p.m., uh, the range came will be dropping. So that's been it. Let's grab your refreshments and your beverages. I'm going to be drinking a little thing I bought by accident. It's got like this, look. Now, you wouldn't know with a seamless, seamless transition that I forgot to read out the poll right here. So I'm going to do it now, reading out the poll. Here we go. Before we hit into the sponsor break, I know it's nuts, we've gone mad here. With Nico being released, name five others you'd like to see off the wage bill. Going to be using this in a video, which I am right now. Scott Young says, Alves, Miller, Rossiter, Cardozo and Herrera. Probably Pena as well. Pena's pretty much out the door anyway, but yeah, good list, mate. Good, strong list indeed. Chris Miffs says, Herrera, Alves, MOH, Del Cio and Hodson. Del Cio's on loan, that's why I didn't mention him, buddy, but it's again another good shout. MOH is just one of the... He, he's got talent. I genuinely think he'd make maybe a difference. Then see when we bring in Kenny Miller on with like three minutes to go, who's never played for a long time. He's very... He's, he's rusty. If we'd have brought MOH on, I think we'd have created more things. He's got pace. He's direct. Play him. 
play them, Rangers. We spent a fucking mill on them. Just play them. Why do we keep doing this, man? Why do we spend money and then do they fucking play people in the right positions? It's so annoying. MOH is going to be another one we lose on. We just can't. He's, he's, he's good shout, mate. He's 100% going to be gone in the summer. But it's fucking stupidity by Rangers again. Buying players for money, wasting them for about a year and a half, selling them at a loss. That is, that's what we do. Murray Meister, <laughs> no particular order. Bruno Alves, Cardozo, Gomez, Rossita, and Miller. Why did I read Rossiter out more Portuguese than Bruno Alves? Don't know. Let's see if I can. Wow, there's actually loads. Craig underscore eighteen seventy two. Alves, Miller, Rossiter, Godson, and Cardozo. L Leona, Alves, Cardozo, O'Halloran, Pena, and Dodo. Dodo's actually a really good shout. I actually forgot about him to be honest. He was like in the squad too, and then he's just vanished again. Uh, my camera's... Alright, okay. Graham Dons Loyal says, Hodson, Pena, Herrera, MOH, Alves, slash Cardozo. Chris Graham says, Cardozo, Hodson, MOH, Dodo, and Herrera. He also chips in this and like I said, I could name another five or six players. But yeah, let's just keep it at five because it's catchy and it's clickbaity. <laughs> RFC Review says, Rossar, Alves, Miller, Hodson, Cardozo again. Herrera says, Pena, Rossar... Eh, Herrera... Uh, Andrew Wilson says, Pena, Rosser, Alves, Hodson, MOH. MOH because he's not going to get much game time. The rest because they simply aren't good enough. And I'll read out Ross Watson and his uh, rival Rangers forever. And that's how I'm going to end the video off with. Ross Watson says, Cardozo, Miller, Herrera, Hodson, Forrester. Forrester's a really good shout. Another player that's got talent. But I just, that's one of the ends I don't think he would have ever worked at Rangers. He's not consistent enough. Rangers forever says, Alves, Miller, Cardozo, Rosser and Herrera. We will end the video there. In fact, we'll read out Jamie Curry's one. Um, let's see. Jamie Curry, 89, says, Hodson, Miller, Anik, um, Forrest and MOH. Solid list there, ladies and gentlemen. Back to me as a seamless transition. Seamless. I didn't deserve 13k. Really, didn't I? Uh, three, two, one, spot some break. <laughs> That's fucking sewer. I've been CJ Nova 92. That's been Rocky Boy Johnson. That has been Andy. Well done on the making on the left, Andy. I'm very, very impressed. That one or two games you played at left back, you're actually pretty decent. Yeah. I will talk there. Thank you for watching and bye bye.